got a faction of law enforcement that knows they've got to use me to get in there, otherwise they're going to have a full-on gun battle. Then you've got the SWAT guys thinking, the hell with that. You know, we outgun these guys. Let's just take over. I wound up becoming a negotiator for uh, the club and for the cops with my own people. These cops wanted to get in there. They wanted to start their investigation immediately. I've got the situation with the shooter. There is talk about him not leaving. He should get the same thing back that he dished out. I know I got to get him out of there. The first thing I did is I told him, I said, you know, you got to take that patch off. Folded it up, placed it inside his shirt. And I said, we're going to get on my motorcycle, and we're going to ride out of here. What was a great, fun run in a really great location just turned into a terrible situation for everybody there. George rides off with a meth-addled tweaker as the paramedics are allowed to take the injured angels to the hospital. The remaining angels keep the cops out of the hotel room long enough to destroy all physical evidence of the shooting. You try to investigate Hell's Angels, nobody's seen anything, nobody knows anything. When the sun came up, the evidence was all gone. The members got out of there. The blood was cleaned up. Someone took a knife and cut the drywall out where all the bullet holes were, and then burned the drywall in the fire. I remember one of the things we had to do before we left the run site was we had to replace the drywall. The manager wasn't worried that there was a gunfight in there. Uh, the manager insisted we replace the drywall. So we made sure the drywall was replaced uh, prior to leaving.